Hey guys, my name is Jamin. Thanks so much for visiting my channel. In this video, I have a Dell Latitude 7490. I'm gonna show you how to get in, access your solid state drive. So first thing guys, power down your computer the correct way. Make sure it's off and unplugged from your charger. We're gonna go at your bottom case screws. To remove the bottom case, we have three screws on either side. One here in the middle and one there in the middle. As you can see, the screws don't actually come out, so be careful trying to force those out. After that, you can take your small pry tool and go around the seam of the bottom case, pry it off of the computer. And this is what you're looking at for the inside of your computer. Before I touch anything inside the computer, guys, the first thing I always do is remove or at least unplug the battery. It makes it safer to proceed into the computer. This battery has two screws there in the corner and is plugged into the motherboard there. The battery plug has a simple pull tab that you would just grab and pull up to unplug the battery. And then the battery releases. As a general computer repair side point, guys, whenever I'm working on a computer in my shop, it's sitting on an anti-static pad. Either that or an anti-static bracelet are great ideas to avoid damaging things in your computer when you're working on it. If you need any help with tools or supplies for your project, as well as any replacement or upgrade parts for this specific model computer, there'll be a link above, also below in the description. It'll give you a list of all the tools and supplies that I used on this computer, plus all of those replacement and upgrade parts. Your solid state drive is right here. It's a single M.2 port with a single screw holding it in. Once you remove that screw, the solid state drive will release. So this solid state drive is mentioned, it's an M.2 port NVMe solid state drive, and this computer takes up to Gen 3 solid state drives. So below in that link that I told you about earlier with the replacement and upgrade parts, I'll try to have a 500 gig one, a terabyte, and a two terabyte in case you guys are looking for replacement or upgrade solid state drives. And I guess last thing to shout out, after you install a new solid state drive in a computer, you will need to install an operating system onto it. So below in the description, I'll have two video links, one showing you how to install Windows 10, and the other showing you how to install Windows 11 onto a Dell computer. So that's the video, I hope it was helpful. If it was, please remember to like and share if you think someone else can benefit from it. Subscribe if you enjoy DIY computer content like this. And for those of you that wanna support the channel a little further by leaving a small donation, there's a couple different ways you can do that. First, right below the video to the right hand side, you'll see the super thanks button, you can click on that. You can select a tip amount here. Second way, you can use your cash app Find me at dollar sign PC helper. You can leave a dollar amount and you can even leave a little note. Thanks so much for watching guys. I look forward to seeing you on my next video.